This is your bar cardio hit sculpting workout. I'm Ashton Jacqueline, and in this workout, you are gonna feel the burn in your thighs, hamstrings, and glutes, and we're gonna get your heart rate up, so you're gonna get nice and sweaty, and you're gonna feel exhilarating. So get on your mat, let's do this. Okay, let's begin with a warm up. We're gonna warm up for two minutes here. So we're just gonna step forward, take a nice lunge, reach the arms up overhead, and step forward, nice. So just opening up the hip flexors here, getting your body in breath and in sink. Really expand through the chest, inhaling and exhale. Get your feet grounded into the floor. And yes, I'm doing this barefoot because I love working out barefoot to strengthen my toes, my ankles, create mobility and stability in my feet. Good. One more time, left foot back and stand up. Nice, we're just gonna take a nice little squat right here. So squat and up, squat and up. I've got some amazing exercises for you today. I'm super excited to be doing this workout with you because it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna burn, we are going to sweat, we're gonna get our heart rate up. You're gonna get everything you need in this short workout. I love these kinds of workouts. Good. A few more like this. Really feel those legs working. We're focusing on the glutes today, so feel that glute working right here. Picture it in your mind, working, getting stronger. Nice, and then we're gonna take a nice little side lunge here and stand up. Exhale, inhale, remember to breathe through your workout. About 30 more seconds of our warm up here, and then we're gonna start with our first circuit and we're gonna grab the booty band, and we're gonna go into a hydrant, and then we have a single leg bridge. Remember, we're doing two rounds of each circuit. You don't have to memorize anything because you can just follow along, enjoy yourself, and have fun. All right, grab that booty band, and the timer is going. Let's do this. So you're gonna start with the right side first, up and. So the next round, you'll do the left foot. Good, up and up. Make sure your shoulders are over your wrist, fingertips are pressing down into the floor, and you're really spreading out through the root of your fingers. Nice, keep those arms straight, pull the ribs in, lower belly is squeezed in. Beautiful work, keep the spine strong, elongate through the whole back. All right, take a 15 second break. We're gonna come on to our back. We're gonna do single leg bridge. So you're going to lay, keep the booty band right there. Press into the floor with the right foot, the right heel, and you're gonna lift up and lower, that's it. Here we go, press the palms into the floor, lift and lower, lift and lower. Great job, so you've noticed the band is here and I'm trying to pull the band away from the bottom leg. Really activate those hamstrings, so press into the heel, lift and lower, lift and lower. Great job. Squeeze the shoulder blades underneath you so that your shoulder blades don't round. break here and we're gonna do hydrants now on the left side. So come on to all fours, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, draw the ribs in, going with the left side, waiting for my little ding. Okay, let's go. Make sure that you're not leaning too far far over onto the right side. Put a little weight into the left hand. That way you know that you're getting really deep into those glutes and you're not overcompensating and swinging over. So stay nice and square here. Good job. 
lifting up as high as you can. All right, great job. So now we're gonna take a little breather and go into our single leg bridge. So pressing the left heel into the floor and the right knee lifts up. Here we go. Let's go, lift up and lower, lift up and lower. Really press the palms into the floor. That'll help to keep the shoulders from rounding forward. So you actually wanna think about squeezing the shoulder blades underneath you. Draw the ribs down, press through the heel. Activate those hamstrings a lot. I love bridges because it really does get into your hamstrings like no other exercise can. All right, little break. Now we've got our squat jump in and out. We're going to, into circuit two. So out and out, just like that. Tap in the floor each time. We're starting to get into our cardio now. That those glutes are warmed up. Here we go. to touch the floor because then it really challenges me to going low, lower than I would normally like. Good, 15 more seconds. Really press into your band so that those outer glutes work as well as the thighs and hamstrings. All right, little break, take off the band. We gotta move quick, grab your block. We're gonna do cur curtsy lunge off of the block. So right foot is up on top. You're gonna cross behind, do a nice curtsy lunge and lift. Here we go. So if you don't have a block member, just stack up some books or a sturdy box, something you've got around to give yourself a little more height. And this just takes you, you can even do the curtsy lunges without it, but this just adds that extra little challenge, which I know you are always asking for, how can I progress? How can I make myself stronger? How do I tone my body sculpt? This is how. You just do little tiny adjustments that make big results. And break. All right, put that booty back on quickly. So we only have 15 seconds. Get ready for your cardio jumps right here. Smile, it helps. Here we go. Keep going, 10 more seconds. Remember, this is the last time you're doing this move right here. So give it all you got. Three, two, one. Woo. Okay, curtsy lunge on the other leg. There are a lot of birds here. <laughs> here we go. So what I love about this style of working out is that you get your heart rate up and down, up and down. That is the best way for fat loss. Plus in between the cardio moves, we're sculpting, lifting your booty, getting such strong, beautiful legs. You're doing awesome. To 
our next block, we're gonna do lunge to arabesque. So I'll show you here, starting on the right foot, stand up, nice big lunge, lift just like that. All right, here we go. Lunge and lift. Lots of balance here. If you feel unstable on the block, just do it without it. Still gonna be challenging. So you wanna really straighten out the leg, point the toe, lift up tall through the chest, through the top of the head. Nice job. Woo. This is a fun one, right? Okay, a little break. Next move, you're gonna just gonna come right down onto all fours. You're gonna take that same leg that we just lifted, tap and lift, tap and lift, okay? Remember, ribs are in, shoulders over wrists, belly in, let's go. So I wanna challenge you to really focus on your form here. Think about pointing the toe, engaging the quad so that you can straighten out the leg and make sure that you're not dumping and just throwing the leg up there, okay? So don't dump in the lower belly. Hold that core tight and then lift the leg from there. Good, let's move on to the other leg. So I'm gonna have my left leg in front down into that low lunge, high arabesque, point the toe, beautiful long, graceful lines. Here we go. floor. We're on all fours here. Reach the right leg back. Lift up and down. Shoulders over wrist. Tighten up that core. Pull up that belly. And here we go. So since we've been working the glutes and the hamstrings a lot, just a very simple move like this is going to fatigue those muscles. I feel this a lot in my supporting hips and glutes, as well as the lifting leg. And I'm breathing heavy. All these amazing things, I love it. Getting so much done in a short amount of time so that you can get the most out of your workouts, see progress and results every day. And break. All right, we've got our 180 squat jumps up next. So we're gonna squat down, turn, down, turn, okay? The turn makes it interesting, to say the least. Let's go. And you can add a booty band here if you'd like. If you like those extra, those extra, that extra burn. See if you can go a little bit faster. Come on, you can do it. You've got this, don't stop now. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Woo! Oh man. Oh, okay. 
booty band quickly come onto the mat on your right side. We're gonna do hydrants here. More like a clam hydrant. Lift up, lower, lift up, let's go. Whew. Oh my gosh, there's so many birds. <laughs> Thought maybe I was gonna get attacked there for a second. <laughs> Almost there. Okay. I know, we've got our squat jumps. This time I'm gonna leave my booty band on for that extra burn. I don't know why, I'm just maybe crazy, but it'll feel good. It'll help to get a little bit out of the quads, more into the glutes as well. Woo! You can do it, you can do it. If you're having a hard time, what I like to do is just do it in chunks of 10 and just say, okay, let me do 10 jumps right now. and birds around right now. It's great I don't get pooped on. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Oh man, okay. Lay on your left side. That is a burner, for sure. Ready? Take a deep breath. You've got this, tell yourself you've got this. Be your own best cheerleader. I think the best thing I ever did, and still do, is, oh my gosh. <laughs> There's so many. Anyways, as I was saying, the best thing I ever did was start focusing on how I speak to myself, how I talk, to my, talk about myself, even like sarcastically. I used to be very sarcastic in the way I would speak about myself and be negative, and I stopped that because our body and mind is listening, and so we get to be kind to ourselves. All right, how is that? Pretty good, right? Okay, we're gonna do a little saute jumps in first now. I think they want to work out with us. Okay, we're gonna be in first. Little jumps, let's go. First position, roll through those toes. Land softly through the knees and ankles. Point the toes and the legs at the top. Another reason to be barefoot, I feel my calves, my shins really working here. It's gonna help you so much. Whew. Oh my gosh. You can do it. 10 more seconds, oh gosh. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> okay, grab your block. We're going into single leg bridges again, I know, but on the block, just because they're so good. They're so, so, so good for you. Okay, press, you can pick whichever leg you want. And let's go. On the block, of course, as that extra challenge. Place your hands down. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Really drive through the heel. I want you to actually envision your hamstrings and the bottom of your glutes coming together, working, getting stronger, more toned. Visualize that in your mind right now. <sighs> oh. Okay, come on up. 
start to feel that in the inner thighs as well. All right. Just going back into our first position sautés. So after this, we've just got two more circuits. We need to take a little pause in between like this so you can do that, or you can go a little faster. These are gonna help your feet so much. You're gonna be able to wear heels so much easier. Whew. Oh man. Other side. Press into the heel. Tuck the pelvis under slightly. Right, bring the hips towards the ribs. And let's go. movements here to really think about pointing the toe, activating the core, biceps forward, triceps back, pull the abs in, make sure that you're not leaning over on the supporting leg, everything is square. Okay, we've got second round of high knees. Then we've just got one more circuit, then you are done. You are doing amazing. The fact that you're here this far says a lot about you. Let's go. Get those knees up. Come on, you can do it. Get them up, get them up. Let's go, let's go. Give it your all right here, right now. Okay, left leg. Remember all fours, pull 
the belly in. Swing side, keep that hip height. Let's go. and then we've got standing arabesque. Lunge ups, I saved the best for last. I know you can do this. Here we go. If you wanna modify, just take out the jump and do it with a step instead. These ones, I have to admit, are not my favorite. They just get me every time. Whew. So good for improving your balance, right? Any, any unilateral things like this really helps you with your body awareness, balance, helps prevent injuries, so many benefits. At least that's what I like to focus on when I'm slightly dying in them. <laughs> Point the toe, engage the back quad. Squeeze underneath the glute here. You can take it a little faster once you find your balance too. Okay, back to those lunge jumps. Just remember all the benefits of lunge jumps, okay? It's the last time you're doing it. And then we've just got our air on the other side and then you're done, okay? This is it, give it your all. I know you can do it, let's go. I'm doing it with you. We're in it together. So much better to have a community here to support you, motivate you, be here for you when you're tired. I get it. We all have those days. Whew. My days where I'm exhausted and then I do a workout and I get so much energy. Oh man. I keep going. finish it. Pull up through the core, up through the crown of the head. Feel tall, regal, proud.
Join me here, feet together. Oh, after all that glute work, this is an amazing stretch. And just know that anytime you come back and work out with me, you're gonna get stronger, more resilient, feel more confident in your body, more comfortable, and it just starts to grow every day. Your motivation starts to grow every time you work out with me. And it's amazing that we get to do this together. And because it sucks to work out alone, right? But I'm here with you, the community's here with you. Take a nice side bend stretch. And so I'm excited for you to come back and work out with me again. Continue to improve your strength, tone your beautiful muscles, and just feel overall happier, right? Feel just grateful. The more grateful you feel, the more you realize that there are more things to be grateful of. Amazing job today. Amazing job, that wasn't easy, so you should be proud of yourself. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, because that really helps me out to create more videos like this. And if you're the type of person that thrives on accountability and progress tracking, then download my Stretchy Fit app. You can start absolutely free, be a part of a loving community, and get my best bar and yoga programs. All right, I'll see you in the next workout. Bye.